So now we're here in Maya, try to make uh, uh, our UI as simple as possible, just have the main menu and a shelf which we'll use. Uh, and of course the channel box, uh, which we can for now close, here is our uh, perspective view. So we actually need to switch to our uh, orthographic view, the top view, and we're going to import our image plane here. So we're gonna import top. Here you go. And uh, let's go quickly switch to our perspective. Select our uh, top view, and let's go ahead and switch to our channel box, which is Control A to toggle between the attribute editor and the channel box. And we're gonna move this image plane down. Uh, which I actually created, simply cropped this image from uh, from Photoshop. We're also going to import one more image plane, and that is going to be our bottom. And we're going to move this. Oops, that was the wrong image or the wrong camera. So we need to go back to our top view uh, and import it to the top view. There we go. Uh, and let's switch back right now we're gonna try to make it more uh, proper scale later but here they are I did rotated this around and we're gonna move this up just like that and uh, at this point what we're gonna do next is uh, create a little uh, a little uh, toggle button for us that may be a little bit advanced but it should be pretty straightforward so what I'm gonna do is open a script editor okay don't uh, don't get too um, lost here should be pretty simple we just want to um, clear everything so we're seeing what we're doing basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna select one of the image planes and set it to none and that gives us a command line set image plane to display zero and we can select that and drag that onto our shelf we can actually just hit enter to return to a different line we can select this image plane the, the bottom one and let's just go ahead and use the RGB what the hell so uh, that gives us another line which we can drag so basically these two lines of code will uh, set one image plane to zero and the other image plane to two. We can middle mouse drag that into our shelf. So at this point if we reverse the setting here of the display uh, and let's put that on the shelf. Now we've got a little toggle menu between top and bottom image planes okay so uh, let's start with the top and create a simple cube uh, with interactive creation off we can quickly just plot a cube right in the center here and uh, why not we can just start doing our symmetry right away let's just delete face that's in the center and we can quickly what I like to do is just first define the, bo uh, the, the overall length okay and uh, another tool that we're gonna use very often let's just put it on the shelf which is insert edge loop tool and we can start putting our loops in here it's a good idea to uh, do it one section at a time because it's easy to get lost if we start plotting more sections especially in this area where they actually twist you can see now that we are almost lost here so if we do it one at a time it makes it easier and more controllable notice that I'm not going all the way to the end because actually this is where our final loop in this outer line continues on forward into the tail there we 
go. Let's just move it along Z only. I think that's where it needs to go. something like this okay and uh, at this point we can actually start using um, <coughs> our other tools like uh, split polygon tool which I actually like to use a regular split polygon tool let's also put it on our shell so for that I'm gonna uh, display our toolbox right here and take this and also drag that onto our shelf uh, just to kind of keep our UI as simple as possible and use as much space that we've got. I'll keep closing this. So this is our regular split polygon tool. So at this point we can go in and start plotting additional sections. here. 